Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix phone glitches and touches on your iPhone. These are kind of ghost touches that you might be kind of clicking something and it might be going back and forth. It might be going kind of glitching out like that, or you might touch, you know, one app. Um, say you're opening up Facebook, but it'll accidentally open up Chrome instead. These are common issues and I'll walk you through these kind of steps that you can go through and get them fixed and working again. So now the very first step is just to hold the power up and the um, power button, the volume up and power button. And that'll give you an option to slide off um, and power off this entire phone. Now, once you've gone through that step and power down your phone and then turn it back on if those ghost touches or glitches are still work still like happening on your phone and it's still an issue the next thing that you want to do is to make sure that your entire iphone screen is clean so a lot of times the screen protector if it's cracked or has dirt under it especially that can cause issues with these ghost touches so I recommend peeling off the iPhone protector screen on your iPhone, getting a good cloth, cleaning out off your entire iPhone to make sure it's completely clean, then powering down, powering back up and seeing if it's still an issue. Now, the last thing that we'll do before taking it to Apple is to head into settings here. I'll just go back. And then once you're in settings, you can go scroll down and hit down at general, and then scroll down again and hit on transfer or reset iPhone. Now it'll give you some options here. We can tap reset here, and we can tap reset all settings. And this will reset all of the settings on your iPhone back to factory default, but it won't remove any of the contents or media or anything like that stored on your iPhone. So go through this step, reset all the settings, and then again, turn off your iPhone, turn it back on, see if those ghost touches are still there. And if they are, the last thing that you have to do is probably just take it into an Apple store. Because most likely, if you've gone through all these steps, it's a hardware issue, something with the iPhone screen, the touch screen is not working, it's maybe bugging out and just glitching and not working correctly. And hopefully if it's under warranty, they'll just give you a brand new iPhone. You won't have to worry about it and you won't get those issues anymore. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.